And I suspect UAW will have um, given Optimus quite a quite a shot in the arm with the strike, and I guess a lot of auto automakers in the U.S. would be looking at the potential of deploying Optimus on the factory floors. Yes, yes, and and there are a a lot of low hanging fruit, as you probably know. That's a term I use a lot. Uh, yeah. the, these tasks that are, are very very simple to do, um, yeah. with sort of the, the current Optimus could easily do it and the others yeah. that are out there. So mechanically, they're pretty close. They may not be quite as fast as the human, but they're getting there. And as far as intelligence is needed, they don't really need a whole lot of sophistication or you know extreme dexterity. It's a very simple kind of task. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing those already next year. Yeah. Uh, that Tesla will probably be announcing at some point. So oh, see, here we go. You know, they've yeah, already done yeah. a couple of shifts. Yeah. And in fact, on on this Over the Horizon podcast of mine, I like to look at the intersection of technology um, and the future of work. And I, I I would love an opportunity to to discuss the implications of Optimus in the light of the UAW strike and what it means. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. absolutely. I mean, I, I, I can give you sort of like a really quick overview of, of, of sort of what you see going on Please. and why it's important is that uh, we are having a demographic shift right now where um, with the retirement of a lot of people, there is our job shortages. So there's a label shortage for a, a, a lot of uh, things. Um, truck driving is one. Um, you also have like lack of welders and you can go down and all sorts of other sort of skills that you, you don't have. You know, how many people really want to be a roofer yet? There's like demand for, for people putting roofs on houses all over the place. And a lot, of, you know, here in Florida, whenever we have a, a hurricane, a lot of times, you know, houses are covered up with a blue tarp for like one or two years while they wait to find a roofer that's able to come in and do it. So there's a lot of ways of solving some of those problems. Uh, you know, one with the truck drivers is not to have Optimus driving, but we're going to have these vehicles that are autonomous that are really kind of dedicated for something like that. Um, and then, you know, other tasks like, you know, roofing is going to be a humanoid type of, of robot or any sort of, of building activities. Welding, well, we already kind of have a solution there in that there are these robots that are spe specifically designed. They're not humanoid of form, but they're able to do yeah, it. Yeah, they don't need to be, yeah. However, they can only handle about 95% of the welding situation. There are some situations that they just can't get in there, and sometimes a human with a, with a torch can actually go in and do the job. So there will still be some humanoid applications for welding and a lot of these other kinds of things. So we're seeing right. these labor shortages in there. And again, it's like, Agriculture, boy, you know, talk about low hanging fruit there. That 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 is one of those that for years they've been trying to figure out how to automate it because it's very difficult, and it's not like people really want to go out and and work in the fields all day. It's, it's extremely difficult, and and you know, you take anyone that says, oh, it, you know, it's not that hard, and you put them out there for a day or two, and they were like, yeah, that's not a job, that's not a career that you'd want to do. So eventually, there's going to be a lot of these jobs that really are are really the robot should be doing it. And, and that's sort of what Elon has been talking about is that yeah. it's meant for the jobs that are uh, monotonous, but, you know, yeah. tedious, yeah. And dangerous. And it's going to be filling a lot of those things. And it's not going to be that it's necessarily saying you can't work anymore. It's like work if you want. I mean, if you, if yeah, you, if you want sure. like it, but make sure it's a job you really like, you know, you're not doing it because yeah. you've got no choice right now. Yeah. But it's something that you want to do to while away the hours or just, you, you get some excitement about it. Um, yeah. But we should be able to find a lot of these these jobs that people don't want. And again, turnover. There's a lot of jobs where the, the turnover and absenteeism is a problem. This is one of the things that the big three were talking about in their discussions is that they were having a problem with absenteeism. And that means we're getting ready to run up the factory. We're looking around and it's like, wait a minute, a bunch of people didn't show up today. What's going on? And we yeah. got to get this thing running because it's costing us money if yeah. if we slow down the production rate. So that's something that uh, an Optimus robot would be able to make sure is not an issue in the, in the future. 